your girl. I got come back. I know I've been gone for a minute. So much has been going on. Where do I start? So it all starts last month. I moved into a new apartment. Um, and in the process of moving, I got a call from one of my many recruiters that I got a job. I got a job offer. So I took it and I've been working now for about a month. So a lot of change has been going on and I'm just really trying to, you know, readjust to working again and, you know, back to making my evenings and my weekends count. So I finally feel like I'm back in the groove of things. So hopefully I will be able to do more videos and any of you that follow my blog, um, you'll see that it, it's slowly starting to come back to life a little bit. I'm still not on my regular vlogging schedule, and I don't know if I ever will be back on that schedule, just given um, that I have a job now and that a lot of my other side projects are starting to pick up. So I have to kind of divvy my time and attention way more. I did divide it up more than I had to in the past. So that's in a nutshell what has been going on. Um, and I guess I wanted to talk about some stuff with my hair, of course, and also my, um, jewelry, my design. Um, if any of you are checking out these earrings, I actually learned how to make these from Tony Daly, her latest video, so thanks, Tony, for sharing that tip. These are really cool, um, they're really easy to make, so definitely check out her video on that if you want to make your own pair um i'm also selling them on my etsy shop so anybody if you aren't crafty or you don't feel like making a pair you can get these they say sophisticated on this side and funk on the other side so you can get them the six dollars really cheap because it doesn't doesn't take you know much more than that it doesn't take more than that for me to make them but i just thought it was something cool and different um as far as my hair today, this is a curly fro, which is a style that I really kind of forgot about, but it's been my go-to style all this week, and I'm loving it, so I think I might be back to these. I love how much volume you get, and it's just a pretty look, and it's really easy to achieve. Maybe I'll do a tutorial, but there's tons of them already out there in YouTube land. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen Curly Chronicles, hers, and there's a couple other big names that have done the curly fro, so that's that. As far as what's going on with my hair, I don't really, um, I don't really put too much thought in my hair. I take good care of it, of course, but I don't really, I don't really, um, think about it, maybe because I don't have the time. So basically, I wear it out when I want to wear it out, and I wear it up in protective styles when I want to wear it up in protective styles. Um, the main thing for me is just keeping my hair moisturized. As long as I keep it moisturized daily and really just don't manipulate it too much, my hair doesn't really complain and it doesn't really tangle too badly. So I think I'm finally reaching hair nirvana where I'm, I'm pretty much am in sync. I'm in tune with my hair. I can detect when something is off and I, I know when my hair responds positively to things or what it likes. So we're kind of in like that that synergy where we're together we're in sync so I did um I did try some new products that I really like that I think they're basically making it into the staples so um the conditioner that I'm really loving these days is yes to carrots daily makeover conditioner and it's marketed for color treated hair but conditioners that are marketed for color treated hair are actually really good for naturally dry hair since they have a lot of really good moisturizing agents in it since color does tend to dry out your hair. So it's perfect for hair like ours that can be naturally dry. So I love it. Um, Slip is the bomb.com. I mean, it just makes my hair feel freaking incredible. It's good as a leave-in. Um, I don't use really use it as a leave-in anymore because there's another product that I like that I use as a leave-in now. But yes, I'm digging it. If you want to see my full review and all my thoughts, check out my blog because I did a review on it. 
also did reviews on these other two products on my blog as well so you can get the full lowdown on why I like them but y'all I am really digging the mine products so far they just really respond my hair responds really well to them so my favorite daily moisturizer and leave-in conditioner now is the Be Mine Deja's Hair Milk. This stuff is incredible and I got the scent coconut cream and it just makes my hair smell heavenly like a coconut candle. But it is so good and the reason why I love it is for all you people that are glycerin sensitive, this is a glycerin free moisturizer so I'm so excited about that and it really does the job. It softens my hair everything it's actually pretty good for setting my hair I put in my hair right before I do set my hair up for the curly fro and the last product that I really like is also by Be Mine and it's their luscious balanced cream moisturizer and I think I talked about this in another video but this is the bomb.com too it's really good for sealing ends or if I don't want to use the hair milk because the hair milk is a little bit on the wetter side so if I don't want that, then I'll use the cream. And this is really good. It keeps my hair soft, pliable, you name it. I can comb through my hair with, with either one of these products. So, yeah, that's what I'm digging these days. And I'll be back with more videos soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Be blessed. Peace out.